This training video is brought to you by K-Alliance. K-Alliance provides high-quality instructor-led training videos for desktop, IT and soft skills. Visit us online at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free 7-day trial. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and we hope you learned something new. Real videos, real learning, real success. When it's time to start from scratch inside of Excel, all you have to do is create a brand new workbook. Let's take a look at some options for doing that. I'm going to go ahead and open up Excel. And the first thing I want you to notice is that the title bar, point my mouse to it here, it's on book one. Well, the fastest way to get a brand new workbook is to use the keystroke. The shortcut is hold down your control key and hit N, N as in new, and you'll notice that now I have book two because it just opened a brand new workbook. So there's your fastest option. If all you want is a brand new sheet of paper to work with and three new sheet tabs, control N as in new. Now, if you want choices, then you're going to go to the file tab. And when you click on the file tab, a little more than halfway down, you have new. And there's your blank workbook, the one we just created, is click here. And it's either a double click on the blank workbook or a single click. And down here in the bottom right, you click the create button. Or if you've not checked these templates out, take a quick scroll through and look at all of the available templates because you might find that someone else has created exactly what you're in search of and then you don't have to spend the time to recreate. You can just tweak it to match your needs. For instance, if you're going in to create a calendar inside of Excel, here are a lot of calendars. You just click on the, the calendar topic, it's just a single click, and then it says, oh, what kind of calendar? Well, then you would take a look at the type of calendars that you would like. I want a multi-year calendar, and you can see that there are many, many, many choices in here for multi-year calendars. And then you would simply choose the look that you like. I like this one. You choose the look, and then, again, you either double-click or scroll down here. And this time, you have to download. Now, what I want you to be aware of is you need to know your company's policies for downloading. These actually come from the Microsoft Office website. So when you do download, they should be safe. But definitely don't do that unless you have permission from um, your IT department. And the other thing is you also excuse me, have to have an internet connection in order to download these files. But all you do then is to click the download button. And it might ask you a question or have you answer. Sometimes Sometimes it's just making sure that you knew you know who created it and where the information came from. So yes, I have to accept in order to open this calendar. And once I accept, it downloads the calendar. Let me zoom this out a little bit so you can see better. And oh, this is an old one. This is from 2007. So it also demonstrates for you that what might happen is that you'll get a template that's old and you'll have to do some updating on it because this one is a definitely an older year and not exactly what I was hoping for. But gosh, I like the layout, I like the pictures, so maybe it's worth changing the dates in here in order to keep the great layout and the great pictures that are already available for me. So if you need a brand new file, remember Control N is the fastest way if you just need a plain sheet of paper or go to your file tab, click on new, and look at some of those templates that are out there and available to help you out. We hope you enjoyed this preview video. Please click on the like button below if you did and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to visit us at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free 7-day trial today. You could learn a lot in a week.